Say you're setting up a highly available application on Windows and multiple servers need access to the same SMB share. This is very easy to do with Azure NetApp Files. I'm Diane Patton, a technical marketing engineer with Azure NetApp Files, and today I will show you how to do this using Internet Information Services Virtual Directory as an example. This is our setup. We have two Windows Server virtual machines in different zones within the US West 2 region. They are both in the same Active Directory domain along with Azure NetApp files, contoso.com, and they both have Internet Information Services application installed and set up. Both IIS servers need to access the same content, and we will deploy a virtual directory for that purpose. We will use an Azure NetApp files SMB share for that data. During validation, we will HTTP to both servers virtual directory from a separate Windows-based virtual machine called Workstation. We can do this in three steps. First, we will check the prerequisites, which consists of having two VMs with IIS installed and the Azure NetApp Files SMB share already created. Look at the below URL for a video on how to create an SMB share on Azure NetApp Files. Next, we will create a target directory within the SMB share for this specific application IIS's data. And last, we will create a virtual directory and allow anonymous viewing to it on each IIS server. For validation, we will then copy a simple HTML file and view it on both IIS servers. So let's get started. First, we will verify the prerequisites. We already have an SMB share in our Azure NetApp Files account named SMB Volume. A video on how to set up the SMB share on Azure NetApp Files is located at the below URL. There are two virtual machines running IIS, each in a different zone. Both virtual machines, as well as Azure NetApp files, are joined or connected to an Active Directory. So next, we'll go to IIS Server 1, where we will create a target directory on the Azure NetApp files SMB share to store the virtual directory content. So let's grab that share mount path and copy it to our clipboard. And next, from Server 1, we'll open PowerShell. And then we'll create a new directory, and we'll call it IIS content. So last, we can create that virtual directory on both virtual machines running IIS, pointing to the Azure NetApp Files SMB volume. Go to the IIS Manager, the Sites, the default website, and then right-click and add virtual directory. We can call the alias shared page, and then put in the path to the share, along with the target directory we just created. So next, hit Connect As and then enter the credentials that would allow you access to that SMB volume. So hit OK and OK. And then after the virtual directory comes up, you can check to make sure the correct authentication is enabled. In our case, we are allowing anonymous access. So in order to allow anonymous access to the web content, be sure that anonymous viewing is enabled under authentication and you can use the default application pool identity, which uses the default anonymous user account by default. So make sure to do the same procedure on the other virtual machine, which is IIS Server 2. And you could also do this on multiple VMs if you'd like. To validate this scenario, I have a short index HTML file on the local VM. We can take a quick look at that and we'll type index.html. So I'll copy that file from the local VM into the shares target directory using PowerShell. Now this will be accessible by the other VM also since it's on Azure NetApp files. Next, for validation, let's access that web page on Server 1 from the Workstation VM. Let's grab the IP of Server 1, and then we'll go to the Workstation, open Microsoft Edge, and go to that IP address, which is 10.2.12.4. And then we'll add the name of that virtual directory alias that we just created. So we can see that web page. So now we'll do the exact same thing on server two. And we can see the same content, which is in that SMB share. This video is meant to show how we can access an Azure NetApp file share from two independent VMs. Although we used an IIS virtual directory as an example of how you can access one share from different VMs in Azure, this same concept can be applied to many applications since the Azure NetApp Files SMB share is external to the virtual machines and has exceptional performance and stability for enterprise applications. 
This video shows how easy it is to use Azure NetApp files with SMB when you need access from multiple virtual machines. For more information using SMB or IIS virtual directories, please scan the corresponding QR codes. Thank you for watching and have a great day.